Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Simplar Studios. Some months back, I grabbed Apple's M1 MacBook Air, which despite being quite a light and power efficient ultrabook, also happens to be one of the fastest consumer laptops on the planet. This particular model has the 8 core CPU and 7 core GPU, along with 16 gigabytes of unified memory. But all this got me thinking, how'd it hold up to a fully fledged gaming PC? Like this one. It's got an Intel Core i7-6700K, 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM, a 1TB 850 EVO SSD, and an ROG Strix GTX 1080. To keep this test as fair and unbiased as possible, I'm using a 1080p monitor with each computer. I'll also restart the computers after each program, ensure no other programs are running besides the application being tested, and use the same graphic settings for each application on each computer. Without further ado, let's get into the tests. Starting off, Minecraft. As with all tests in this video, the MacBook Air is on the left, the PC is on the right, and the graphic settings are listed in the description. On both computers, I've loaded identical worlds into Minecraft 1.16.5, and the FPS is shown at the top left of each screen. Despite the fact that Minecraft is running an emulation through Rosetta 2 on the MacBook Air, as it's not yet optimized for Apple Silicon processors, its performance is still mind-boggling. The PC comes out ahead with an average of 20 to 40 FPS, but the compact fanless MacBook Air isn't too far behind at around 15 to 25 FPS. Both versions are playable, but become far smoother when turning down the render distance from 32 to 16 chunks. At 16 chunks, the Air is easily able to beat the performance of the PC at 32 chunks. Next up, Dirt Rally. We'll be running the in-game benchmark on both systems. The PC performs far better than the MacBook Air this time, with the MacBook achieving around 50 to 70 FPS and the PC achieving around 90 to 130 FPS. An impressive win for the PC, but still more than playable on the MacBook. Now, let's see how they both fare with Subnautica. Shades of pearl and green. Mm -hmm. Fire burning hearts in 
Surprisingly, the MacBook Air averages around only 20 FPS, while the PC runs the game far smoother at 120 to 140 FPS. And while turning the game down to the low preset on the MacBook Air did improve FPS substantially, it never reached a consistent 60 FPS. It would stay around the 45 FPS region. Lastly, let's try the Talos Principle. Here, the PC again performs much better than the MacBook Air, with the MacBook Air averaging around 45 to 55 FPS, and the PC managing around 140 to 170 FPS. So we've compared some games, but how do the computers stack up against each other in terms of raw CPU and GPU performance? We'll test this with Geekbench 5. Geekbench 5 does natively support ARM and x86 architectures, and I'll be using the native tests for both computers, so it'll be measuring the true speed of both processors and both graphics processors. And look at these results. The fanless MacBook Air, whose processor has a 10 to 15 watt TDP, has nearly double the CPU performance of the 91 watt TDP i7. The M1 has a single core score of 1746 and a multi core score of 7734, while the i7 has a single core score of 1174 and a multi core score of 4503. It's not the latest i7, of course, but even with the latest generation i7, the M1 is certainly still competitive. Its score places it just above the i7-9700K. But how does the 1080 compare to the M1's integrated GPU on the Geekbench Compute test? As expected, the GTX 1080 far outperforms the M1's integrated graphics in this test, with the 1080 achieving a score of 54,306 compared to the M1's 18,633. This still places the M1's GPU, on paper, on par with the GTX 1050 though. That's quite impressive for such a low power graphics solution. So, in pretty much every test, the PC outperformed the M1. But here's the amazing thing. In every test, the game ran more than playably on the M1 Air. The M1 MacBook Air is essentially a thin and light laptop with a processor faster than an i7-9700K, a GPU comparable to a GTX 1050, and a battery life better than almost any laptop out there. The fact that a laptop with such a form factor manages to even compare to a PC that pulls around 10 times as much power is simply stunning. And quite frankly, if I didn't know which computer was which, on most tests it would be hard to tell at first glance. So while Macs can't play all the latest games that Windows supports, if the games you play are supported on Mac OS, Apple Silicon Macs have proven that they are not just beasts in terms of power efficiency, but also in terms of raw gaming power. And remember, all these games are still running in emulation. As more and more games natively support Apple Silicon, their performance on the same hardware will only improve. If you want to see other cool tech videos or other tech comparisons like this, check out my channel. There's a lot you'll enjoy. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you, and subscribe for more tech videos like this. See you all in the next video.